Hi, everybody. Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. And the Joe and Joe Weather Show is back tonight at 7.35 p.m. After being off for a week, we will be talking about a late season spring winter storm or winter spring storm that will be developing in the northern plains that's going to have heavy snow with it. It's also going to have, and more importantly so, widespread severe weather risks in the Mississippi and parts of the Ohio Valley on Friday. Of course, we have uh, implications here for the weather in the Northeast for Friday into Saturday. We'll be talking all about that tonight at 7.35 p.m. Eastern Time. Weather in 5 is brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York, in southwest Suffolk County on Long Island. And they're all set to go this spring with mulch, topsoil, sand, and everything else you need to make sure your home or your property looks absolutely spectacular. 631-756-1125 is the telephone number, and the website is omnitruevalue.com. So we got a little bit of an Arctic front that moved through here uh, this, uh, overnight, and some places were left with a little bit of coating of snow on grassy surfaces, and now you can kind of see that arm on the satellite from earlier this morning uh, moving uh, through the northeast. And here it is on the latest satellite loop. As uh, it is well offshore, we've got a pretty good-looking day, although it is cold uh, in the uh, eastern part of the United States, particularly in the northeast and northern mid-Atlantic states, where temperatures today are probably not going to get much above the low and mid-40s. And that's a good 10 degrees below normal for this time of year. Meanwhile, I want to focus your attention on what is going on out in the west, because this is going to be setting up the weather for Friday, see right here this twist in the cloud cover. There's a very strong upper trough that is moving through the northwestern part of the U.S. And also notice the rather strong inflow of the subtropical moisture that's coming up out of the Pacific and into Texas and Oklahoma. And eventually the Gulf of Mexico is going to get involved in all of this uh, as we move into tomorrow. Uh, we're going to have a storm that's going to develop in the northern plains and head toward the Great Lakes and eventually track across southeastern Canada over the weekend. And the inflow of all that tropical moisture, and there's actually a fairly decent cold air mass behind this low, <coughs> excuse me, and that is going to feed in to a very large uh, area of severe weather risk, not for so much for today. We have a marginal risk of severe weather from the Storm Prediction Center being indicated for parts of North Texas, Oklahoma, and western Arkansas, southwestern Missouri, and also a small area from northeastern Nebraska into southwestern Minnesota. But take a look at the risk area for tomorrow. We already have two areas of moderate risk being indicated in northwestern Illinois and eastern Iowa. Also, uh, we have a moderate risk of severe weather being indicated for northeastern Arkansas, western Tennessee, and northwestern Mississippi, and a very large area of enhanced risk. And I just want to show you here the tornado risk with this because it's it's quite elevated. And, of course, we had that uh, outbreak last week uh, in Mississippi that produced an EF4 tornado that was incredibly destructive. Well, uh, there's a shot here that we could see some more destructive weather, a 15% area being indicated by the Storm Prediction Center. By the time we get to Saturday, we do see some risk in parts of western New York, western Pennsylvania, and eastern Ohio Saturday. Also, in the coastal Carolinas down into Georgia, marginal risks are being indicated here. I wouldn't be shocked to see this marginal risk in the northeast, mid northern mid-Atlantic states get increased a bit. We have general thunderstorms being indicated, but it wouldn't sh shock me at all if we wind up seeing uh, something a little more elevated when we uh, get to tomorrow. Here's the seven-day rainfall forecast, uh, I'm sorry, precipitation forecast. Big amounts in the uh, western and northern Great Lakes, also big amounts of several inches from southern Indiana down into Arkansas. In the northeast and northern mid-Atlantic states, uh, anywhere from a quarter of an inch to as much as three quarters of an inch to an inch as you go north and northwest, a little bit less in Maine. And we've got some active rainfall amounts showing up again up into the Pacific Northwest and snow, of course, in the mountains and snow uh, in the Rockies here. Uh, liquid precip amounts of three quarters of an inch to an inch and a half. 
Uh, we do have some marginal risk today uh, with respect to some flash flooding issues in parts of Southern California along the coast. And then for tomorrow, we have a marginal risk of flash flooding uh, up in southern Minnesota and over and into Wisconsin and on up into eastern Michigan. And as for snow, this is the probability for at least two. And you see it pretty much it runs right along the border. The storm system is going to be, bring rain probably all the way up except for northernmost Maine. Uh, we have large probabilities of at least two inches across northern Wisconsin, back through Minnesota and into South Dakota, and also a fairly ample uh, area of snow being indicated up in the Pacific Northwest. So just going to take you through here uh, what's going on. Uh, we'll uh, let's get the latest NAM run uh, run of the NAM model uh, and uh, take a look at this. Uh, so uh, today, obviously, uh, we have this chilly air mass in the east represented by that high that's sitting over Lake Ontario. That's going to be sliding to the east and offshore very quickly. And here comes your low for tomorrow. You see it there in eastern Nebraska. This is early tomorrow morning. And then it's going to intensify as it moves northeastward. Take a look at all those isobars. The gradient is going to be exceptionally tight across a very large portion of the Mississippi and Ohio Valley. Eventually, that tight gradient gets it to the east. We've got some rain that will be coming in Friday afternoon, maybe some snow in northeastern New York, up in Vermont, New Hampshire, uh, and on up into Maine. Uh, that's going to uh, that's not going to last very long, but uh, you can see the low uh, going into Wisconsin tomorrow evening, and a line, a squall line of thunderstorms being indicated, uh, extending from that low from uh, southern Michigan uh, all the way down into Arkansas. It's probably underdone here on the southern end, so I'm expecting to see more of that. We'll have some showers move through. Friday afternoon and evening, they'll be scattered in nature, probably a larger band of showers coming through early Saturday morning. And then as the cold front arrives late in the day and into Saturday evening, uh, there will be some thunderstorms moving through eastern Pennsylvania to southern New England. Also, just want to note that the gradient is going to be very tight on Saturday. So winds are going to be very strong from the southwest, probably gusting over 40 miles an hour uh, in many locations, especially inland. And then once the front passes, we'll be left with we'll be left with windy and colder weather setting up for Sunday. So this is a very volatile up and down time of year. Uh, if you're looking for warm weather to just kind of settle in and, and last for a while, uh, you're going to have to wait because uh, uh, we're just going into the month of uh, finishing off the month of March and going into the beginning of April. Weather in Five is brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. 631-756-1125 is the phone number. The website is omnitruevalue.com. And don't forget, tonight, the Joe and Joe Weather Show will be back at 7.35 p.m. Eastern Time. So we will see you then.